Today's question is a very interesting one. Coach Sampson, I made good progress for two years. Now I haven't improved for five years. How can I get out of this slump? Okay, so this is fairly common that if you played recreationally in the basement, you just hit around with your relatives and then you went to the table tennis club. You got modern equipment. You learned a few good serves and a few good strokes that you would improve a lot for the first couple years. The problem is you need to understand the difference between improving and playing better. See, a lot of people want to do the same things over and over and over again and somehow improve their rating or somehow beat all the guys at the club. But that's just taking what you've got and hoping that it will get better. Improvement implies actually making some positive changes to your game. So this can be painful at first, but this is really what you need. So try to figure out in your game what actually needs changed or improved as opposed to just doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. Let me give you one quick story. I do training camps for players of all different levels. Um, in schools, I do it with club level players, I do it with elite athletes. One of my training camps that I did recently with some elite athletes, I was trying to really, really be able to get them to understand that they need to take their time and think between points. So I called it the think circle. It's a four step process on how to get the players to think, how to get them to analyze what just happened, try to get them to refresh their memory on their overall tactics, trying to plan out the point for the next point as far as in general, what were their reminders or what were they trying to do? So I ask all the players in the training camp to take a minimum of 20 seconds between each point. Okay. So I said, after each point during the course of the game, I want you to step back in your think circle, draw an imaginary circle around yourself, and think for 20 seconds before stepping back to the table. They wouldn't do it. It was surprising how players ran back to get the ball and then came back to serve. I literally had to stand between the table and them, hold them back from coming to the table, and say, no, no, no. You need to give yourself the full 20 seconds, and you need to work through these steps. So this is an example on how players are naturally resistant to change. They are set in their ways, whether it be the time between points, or how they hit the ball, or how they serve, or where they place the ball, the patterns that they hit. Almost everyone is resistant to change, and that right there is what's gonna hold you at the same level. If you can't keep doing the same things over and over and expect different results, you're living in a dream world. In order to make improvements in your game, sit down and think to yourself, what changes do I need to make? Once you've established the changes that you need to make, then be persistent at trying to make it while being patient with yourself and waiting for the results. Think long term. Instead of hoping to have amazing results this Tuesday night at the club, think long term and think, how can I be a better player three, four, five years from now?